Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Non Farm Payroll Friday, 6th of September. First full week of September. A lot of interesting things to uh, get into. Uh, let's first and foremost get into this stock chart. Very, very bullish close um, through this 2950. Uh, we are not bulls. We think this is more bullshit than bull. Um, so we will patiently wait and look for a place to sell uh, between 98 and figure. We will try and sell today if we get up there. And if we get a reversal, um, we will sell once we're back through this low here, 37. So either below 40 or at 98, we are sellers today. Let's take a look at bonds. Very, very interesting day yesterday. Uh, big red day at the top of a big long uptrend. Uh, this is obviously binary today with non farms. The expectation is around 160 ADP beat. <clears throat> ISM yesterday was strong, so it's going to be some positive bias going into today's number based on some of the releases we've had this week uh, based on the stock market a bad number today uh, will cause the most damage and bonds will go right back up if it's a bad number but if it's a decent number or a good number this is something to watch um, we're short boons same type of chart uh, let's see FGBL this um, we've changed contracts now so don't mind this gap this is not a gap this is a new contract so we gotta look at the yield I guess is the best way to do it for those of you who don't trade fixed income don't even watch this uh, or you can watch this and learn um, so here's the yield which is basically the continual um, boom chart so you're gonna trade this technically you would trade it on the yield uh, chart not on the price chart um, big yield up day we went from basically uh, 67 basis points to 59 basis points through this 60 level remember these are negative basis points the closer this gets to zero means the price of the contract goes lower so we're core short this. Um, we're going to cut this uh, if boons get back towards minus 70. So minus 64, minus 65, we cut this. Um, we will be adding today on the short side of boons uh, any prices towards you know any sort of 20 or 30 price point higher. We're sellers, so we're sellers of, of this contract. We're buying the yield. We think yield goes higher. Um, so short, short boons. Let's go back to FX. This whole turn down here we think is incredibly important to change in uh, mentality, if not policy, for the ECB. Uh, we're buyers again today around this 110 level. Between 110 and 109.80, we are buyers of euro dollar. Doji yesterday, uh, it's kind of frozen now going into non farms, and there's a binary aspect to this, but a strong one. We'll, we'll send euro a little bit lower, but we will be fading that today because we think this is a change in trend moment down here. Um, and so we will be trying to buy euros on dips. Obviously, ECB is next Thursday. This will be really the nail in the coffin one way or the other. Um, so we'll have to see. But, you know, there are many arguments on both sides. But one of the arguments we're leaning on here is um, Draghi doesn't want his last meeting to be super euro negative, currency negative. He wants stability at the minimum. And he wouldn't even mind if euro goes up a little bit because here at 110, he doesn't really care if it's 110 or 112. Um, 
So, but what he doesn't want is zero shooting through the lows at 109.27. Uh, I haven't talked to Mr. Draghi, but this is just me walking a day in his shoes uh, and something for people to think about. Let's go to Euro Swiss, our nemesis of late. Uh, super bullish candle there after that puke down at 108. Uh, we puked at 19, the low was 10. This looks incredibly constructive. Um, and this will continue to be constructive as long as risk stays at least neutral. Uh, we, and boons stay on the left hand side. So today there'll be support at 60. If this is a positive number, we expect a marginal new high, uh, maybe even through 109.25. We are on the bull side of Euro Swiss, <laughs> even though we puked uh, at the lows. Such is life in uh, foreign exchange. Let's go to Aussie. We didn't really get what we wanted yesterday. It broke 25 just a minute before ISM, so we squared that quite quickly. Um, which is what you have to do going into numbers. If you cannot control risk on a position, uh, you just square it, no big deal. Uh, worked out for us in a sense that it didn't really go any higher. We've been over 0724 today. We still need to look towards these tops here um, to see if this thing can run. The market's core short Aussie. Uh, if it's a neutral number today or moderately good, you want to buy dips on Aussie, um, especially if gold stabilizes as well. Uh, and basically, I mean, we're basically going to get bullish through 30. Uh, we're not really going to, we're not really going to buy dips in Aussie uh, unless we get down to sort of 67, 88, which I don't think is likely. Um, but through 30, a lot of fresh air up here. Um, we'll see if Aussie can get some legs. The cousin, dollar CAD. We're generally sellers of this. We do have uh, CAD data today, so this will be a humdinger. We have US and CAD data. Um, this can get exponential. If US is bad, CAD is good, or US is good and CAD is bad, this thing will really move. So keep that in mind if you have a CAD position. Uh, we're core short this stuff. Uh, not much to say. You just got to trade the data. We'll have to see where it is uh, in six hours' time. What else is there? Euro sterling. Long sterling against the crosses is still the way. Euro sterling um, went up into the 20s yesterday, as we said. Broke the figure, traded down to 44. We took some of our sterling Swiss off a little bit early, but we still like sterling Swiss higher. We traded in the euro sterling pair yesterday just as a trade to grab cash. It's the same position as, as sterling Swiss, so we don't need to, you know. If you take one side of this and try and t grab cash from the market, and the other side, if you can just leave it as a long term position, um, this is the way we're doing it. Um, there's a lot of ways to skin these cats. You can get square every day and just play the trend. You can hold it forever uh, and sit through the pain. This was painful down here on 1850. Um, but we believe this has legs. You can buy sterling Swiss down near 121 the figure. You can sell euro sterling near 90 the figure. We don't think Euro Sterling is going to break 90.20. Um, so this now is going to be resistance, this, this this region up here. Eventually, we're going to be knocking on this door here, uh, 88.90. And this thing has a long way to go, right? I mean, this can easily just go back to 86. Um, so course short Euro Sterling seems to be the way. I'm just going to look at this CAD yen chart. If this is massively risk on and the CAD numbers beat, this is going to really fly. And 81.14 is is um, sort of the range highs in CAD yen. Something to keep an eye on.
Anyway, there's not a ton to say, right, uh, on a non-farm morning, so I've already said more than enough. Let me just check the calendar real quick this morning. Forex reserves, I'll be on my bike. Um, but the Swiss numbers are always interesting to us to see what our hedge fund is doing. The SNB, retail sales. Oh, look at that, GDP revised uh, out of Europe today. I'll be back for that just to see how that affects uh, euro dollar and then the numbers come in 2.30 Swiss time I believe Powell is speaking later tonight let me just check that um, I have this feeling Powell is on and if he is obviously this is going to be massively important uh, Friday, yeah, Powell speaks 6.30 Swiss time, so 12.30 U.S. This will be massively important post non-farm payrolls. This will be important for bonds. This will be important for stocks. Um, so we got a double whammy today. 2.30 we got non-farms, and then 6.30 we have Powell. Check me on Twitter uh, if you need to, going into the non-farm numbers. But take this, take this time this morning to set some plans into place. We got a few setups here we can look at. Pick your favorites. Um, if it's strong, I'm going to do this. If it's weak, I'm going to do this. If it's neutral, I might do nothing, which is always a decision you have to make, even on a non-farm day. Uh, and we get two two bites of the apple today, non farms and Canadian employment, and uh, Jay Powell, the man, speaking uh, at the end of the evening tonight, Swiss time. All right, I've said enough. Uh, good luck out there, people. Make some dough uh, and have a good weekend. I will uh, see you all on Monday. Ciao.